Hi, Gemini. Yes, this has been happening. A call a sign, roll, and then it comes out. Now it's on camera. Great. So I'm saying Gemini, Mars in the six. So this is Gemini. Just rolled you. So you're here. Your energy is present. Wow. Mars in the six. That's kind of intense. Let's see who or what is coming toward you. Someone's going to feel real strongly about almost like fixated or obsessive about health, about keeping a healthy routine. I'm getting the energy though of like surgery or like blood. Okay. Temptation, always busy, kept you waiting. Yeah, also someone could be having gut issues, inflammation, I don't know, what is it, IBS, um, celiac disease, whatever it is, gluten intolerance, something is going on there. Uh, this is a public tarot reading, please talk to a professional. Who's in the reading? Just a little disclaimer, who's coming toward Gemini? Yeah, it's like an... Um, Wow, Taurus just flipped, but it's like a an inflammation could be in the gut going on. So pop up, there may be something needing to be removed as well. Mars is about to go retrograde. So pop up caught. All right, guidance. Where's, I'm hearing Aquarius there. Where's Gemini in the energy? Spiritual attack. Yeah, like someone's getting like their gallbladder removed or they did or... Uh, pancreas or what the hell is that? There's a, an appendix. Something's going on. All right. So you've got determined energy. Damn. Right. So um, you've got red flags, my babe. You've got some red flags plus spiritual attack. So karma, divine intervention, facing demons. So it looks like you're facing some type of karma. You're going to be seeing this. There is a realization and red flags being revealed. What's going on, Cot? Give me one more on this person with distractions. Okay, make it rain. Oh my, snooping. Yeah, someone is snooping. They're, they could be trying to figure out what someone is doing. And it could also be about who's spending money on what. And are you paying for so-and-so? You Are you paying for whatever they're paying for? I don't want to go there. So manifesting abundance, legal matters in your favor. What is this situation though? Reconciliation, really? So you're trying to reconcile with a person or you will be reconciling with the person, but everything feels like bad news and you have a love affair hooking up. Okay, spiritually transmitted disease or infection, let's say. <laughs> Secrecy third party. What the hell? So someone's trying to avoid a person. There may be a guilt uh, attached to that. It could be the reason. Gemini, let's see who this is. Who is this distractions make it rain person? Oh, really? Hmm. Why? Someone is real cheap with you energetically or even financially. They're not trying to give to you. Yeah, Saturn, Aquarius. Yeah, Aquarius, Saturn in the 12th. This could be a Taurus though. Or Capricorn. So someone's saying, no, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to give you anything. I'm not this or that. What is this for? A pentacles energy? Seven of pentacles. Right. Someone feels like if they ignore a situation, it'll go away or it'll fix itself. They feel like if they're in hiding or they ignore something, it'll go away. Someone could be feeling imprisoned here. They may be feeling like they don't have a lot of time left. Someone is like, I don't have time left. They're wondering if they've done enough time or they've built up enough money. Five of Swords. 
what is this person talking about? What is this? Like, what are you even talking about? The four of wands. They're talking about home, marriage, family, five of cups, and missing. So they miss you. Okay, but the seven of swords is here. So this would be like someone's regretting taking a chance or doing some shady stuff, but they still don't want to face a person. So this is where they're avoiding. Okay, so someone is avoiding you is what this feels like today. Gemini, so someone's going to be avoiding you. They're not going to be giving time, energy, no resources, no nothing. Tell me what this make it rain card is because they feel like they don't have enough or they're just being stingy could be either way so make it rain is tower and the seven of wands damn a person's like getting arrested or there's potential for that this would be like disorderly conduct or some sort of public out like outburst or someone's doing something kind of wild It could be about money, like someone's having money problems. And so they're like, okay, if a person is having money problems, they may be getting fired and starting a war over it or something's going on this way. Or I'm getting out of that. Let's see those distractions. What is that? What is that distractions energy? Really? Hmm. Ace of Swords. A person has been saying like, oh, it's so strong. It's such a great opportunity or I love this so much. It's so perfect. It's this or that. Okay. Where's Gemini in the mix? Where's Gemini? Ace of Wands. You're coming in with a damn. So you're approaching this person. You're trying to talk to them. You're trying to get through to them. Someone could be an Aquarius or you're dealing with one, but I see that you're trying to talk to this person. You're like, hello, I'm coming over or like I'm reported or someone's getting reported. The red flags are here. What is this red flag? I feel like you're calling someone out. What is this red flags energy? You're trying to confront them. You may be saying, Hey, I'm coming over, but they're not answering you or Hey, I'm going to pick you up. Hey, this or that. Red flags is, yeah. Libra, Jupiter, and the third. There's deception. It's deception. The red flags is lies, deception, especially pertaining to other people. There's lies about involvements and things like that. So what is the spiritual attack energy? Five swords. Yeah. All right. King of cups. So a person decided to walk away. They didn't care anymore. This also may be some sort of emotionally manipulative energy. How does the person in the reading, Six of Cups, see Gemini? Yeah, they feel like you're coming, you're coming in hot, the Five of Wands. Yeah, you're you're ready to rumble with someone. Like you're trying to overcome a conflict by making changes, talking to them, approaching the situation, you know, trying to get through something, but they're not letting you. How do you see the Four of Pentacles person? Three of Swords. You feel like they're hurt, their feelings are hurt, and they're trying to distance themselves. They're trying to do their own thing. They're trying to get to a better place by themselves or whatever that is. How do you feel about this? person you feel all right if there's any gifts or legal problems coming through this is someone who's trying to defend themselves or not allowing things to happen in that way so you feel the fool and the nine of cups why why are you feeling this because aquarius moon <laughs> in the third house that's interesting you don't i mean one more. There's something about you wanting to maintain a situation with a person based on the comfort it brings. And this could be a commitment that is very reliable to you or someone in the reading and they're trying to maintain it because of that, trying to maintain a relationship, wanting to even, however, you and your feelings, you look kind of detached to me, Gemini. There may be someone that you don't feel like love, love, but you may feel 
you get your needs met through a situation or you like the situation, you like the person, could be how the person the reading feels about you. There could be a sense of wanting also some type of forgiveness or to overcome something with a person. Okay. So you're saying, I have more than enough. Let me give it to you. I'll help you out. I'll give you my things. I'll give you time, energy, resources. And someone's like, yes, I'll take it. So someone is taking money. Okay. They have a savings account and they're putting your money in it. How do they feel? Yeah, they feel that they have, wow, so much potential. Seven of swords. 10, oh, tower. Someone's getting paid off or this person's getting paid to be released. This could be like bail. Uh, like a bond or something. What is this person doing right here? So you, it's about you, Gemini, Neptune, and the third. They feel like you're lying to them. Have you lied to them because you're saying that they've been hurt in the past? This person feels like you are lying or you're you're deceiving them somehow. And I feel like they're milking it. A person is milking a situation. Uh, this is like, oh, you just want me because of my resources. Someone in the energy. What is this person? Yeah, Ten of Swords. This person finds it to be very important to have a legacy, have a lot of money, a lot of stability. They have high aspirations for that. And I see that they could be stocking resources up. Some of this is not very known in the energy. It's not very seen. Okay, but that's what's happening here. They've got like a reserve and they see that there's potential to have more dealing with the situation with you. What do you... <laughs> what do you want with this person? What does Gemini want? Okay, you're trying to Ace of Pentacles. What does this person want? You're trying to have a relationship with someone. Knight of Wands and the freaking lovers. Aquarius, Mars, and the 12th. This person's coming toward you. Secretly, privately, I feel like someone is not really having good intentions in this reading, and I don't know who it is. I have, I have an idea, but I don't know for sure, but I'm telling you that there's hidden enemies in the vibe, and it may be someone's intentions, which really, we should just ask that then. So what is this person's true intentions? with Gemini. So this is the secret hookups or third parties. You look like you're staying home or you want to stay home or someone is. There's somewhat of like a, yes, yeah, screw it. I want this. I want to try this. I want to, you know, do something this way. And this person wants to make you excited about them. What is this person's true intentions? Page of Pentacles. What about it? Five of Cups. Okay, there's an apology. Was this person's true intentions? Again, Ten of Swords. Hierophant. Right, so someone is trying to put the past behind, but is not able to. There may be like a, a release happening or a physical relationship that's trying to emerge here, especially with... Yeah, someone's trying to get you excited, all right? So yeah, S-E, you know what? Someone's trying to sleep with a person. That's the intentions in the dynamic. Now with the Seven of Cups, it may happen like suddenly, like you come in contact with a person. They want you to feel excited. They want them to also 
feel excited. Okay, but why red flags? Okay, it's because there's other people here is what it seems. So this distractions energy is, you know, I feel like there's a temptation. There's a person who's tempting you and it could be by way of money and resources. So there's a person who wants money in this situation. What is Gemini's true intentions with this person? Yeah, wow. You're talking to them about your V or your D or something like that. Um, what's Gemini's true intentions? The masculine is like talking about their D a lot or whatever that is. So the hermit. Your intentions is to revive a situation and leave again. Yeah, you're just trying to have a fun time for a little bit of time and not a long time. And so this person is a little bit apprehensive because it seems like they know that. Someone knows that something is very fleeting. What is the Seven of Cups? There's like a sudden release with a person. Yeah, and so people want to stay single. I'm seeing that someone here wants to stay single. Okay, you are holding your fort down. That's what you're wanting. So what is this love affair card judgment? Okay. So you haven't heard from someone in a minute or in a while and someone left you home alone or left someone home alone. They're by themselves. Right. Okay. This could be like a conjugal visit for someone. This is a very side note. Where is... Where's Gemini in the energy? Goodness. Right. So you're spilling your energy, let's say. You miss someone in that way. So you know that they're trying to heal, but you're, you're hitting them up. There's other energies here. So someone knows that you're frustrated, you're seeking a release. All right, one more on this spiritual attack. Right, so spiritual attack energy, divine intervention facing their demons. It's like confronting a, a situation that someone wants to be alone. They want to be single. That's part of, I guess, it's a problem somehow. So the Six of Cups is here. Right, but they're still allowed to be romance apparently. Right, so you get an opportunity to, you know what, with someone. Who is Gemini going toward here? Who is this? Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, Libra. Yeah, I'm getting heavy Libra quite a bit here. Right, so something's happening in the background. So you're getting together to sleep with someone or you're trying to. This is a very, I mean, there's nothing to say. Um, okay, again, the red flags. There's nothing to say about this reading. Five of Cups, Four of Cups. Someone sees that you, whatever you're saying or doing is red flags. They feel like you have red flags coming in. Why do they think Gemini, that's why they're still holding on to the past. They're remembering the past. This is them, the four of pentacles. This is why I'm saying this. Get in where you fit in. But this person is saying that they're still holding on to a past uh, hurt or pain. And you told me you knew about that. Okay, so this person, yeah, what is this? Page of one. They feel like you've lied to the, in the past. You lied about your family. You lied about your money or you lied about your wealth or where you come from. You could have lied to an entire neighborhood or community, something like someone feels like you're scamming them. <laughs> I don't know if you are. Where's Gemini here then? Nine of swords. Yeah, actually you feel bad about something though. Yeah. You do. You feel bad about something. It could be that you're waiting to connect with a cancer. Or this Taurus. Like you really like this Taurus. You really like them a lot. 
you're wondering why you think about them all the time. You don't like that. What exactly are the red flags though? It's what you're saying. Cause you said that something was done and over, but it's not. Cause you're going behind someone's back is what the red flags are. You're rehashing a situation that you already know has red flags. You're seeking to come towards someone. You miss them. You miss their the way that they feel. You miss the connection you have with a person. Okay, so that's what the red flags are. Or this is, you know, you're intentionally in, involving yourself in something that you know, you know the business, you know the deal. Okay, you know how it is, but it's like you're tempted or something. Tell me about this Make It Rain card again. Oh gosh, this, I'm gonna get flagged. Make It Rain, it's you. You make it rain or what? Five of Cups. Ew. This could be like fluids. You're, okay. Someone's making it rain with some sort of a fluid, a bodily fluid. Okay. I'm t what? Yes. Okay. If you, I mean, okay. Someone's spilling the seed or this is getting kind of weird. Um, they're not opening for it is what I'm saying. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, they're closed. They're closed. Mouth. The mouth, the mouth is closed. Okay, Gemini. Okay, so you're doing mouth stuff with someone? Mm-hmm. All right. Anyway, what's gonna happen next? What do you think is gonna happen next? That's what's happening. So someone wants to go again. There's like, let's go again. I wanna go again, I wanna go again, or that's what's going to be happening. Like someone is real confused. It's like, what, you, you've never done that before, or you've never done this before, let's do it, or it's been a long time since, whatever's going on. Okay, where's Gemini in the energy, please? The wheel. Yeah, you're, you're, okay, you need some sort of release because you're, you're, you got a lot, somebody has tension, it's a fire sign, or you're acting like a fire sign, it's a fire sign, it's a Sagittarius, it is a Sagittarius, so where's the person in the reading, you're like sleeping with a Sagittarius, the person has a three of cups, or whatever, okay, so they're coming back, this person, you're going back and forth with people or someone is, all right? Someone wants to do that. Someone, this person's going to want to connect with you again, you or you and somebody, okay? Whatever. Someone knows about another person, let's say, all right? So this person in the reading, tower, yeah, they know. Someone knows, someone knows about another person or they're about to. Can I get advice, please? Five of Cups. Okay, so... Someone's missing the past or sad about the past. And there's an opportunity to heal something there in the past. All right, so yeah. Um, Pisces, Uranus, and the 11th. There's a wish fulfillment here. Gemini, you're very concerned about this. Why is this advice though? To talk to somebody? Yeah, there it is. 
to apologize or to make contact with someone or sorry that you said or behaved away, whatever it is. What is Gemini trying to, and it may not be that you did something wrong, but maybe that you want to reconnect with somebody that because you missed them. What is it that happened that Gemini feels bad about? Right. Because, right. Because somebody didn't talk. They didn't make a choice. A person may have lost control of themselves in some way. They may have been aggressive or over the top what the hell is this so many nasty things that i cannot say okay so leo north node in the six i wish i could but It looks like you lost contact with a person and you miss them too. Because of another person. You didn't, you, if there was a lie, it was a lie of omission. It's like you didn't tell somebody exactly. You didn't tell somebody something. You didn't tell the person in the read, reading something. Yeah. That maybe you miss them or you want to be with them or you want to get back together with them in some way. That's what the sad part is about the situation. All right. So um, what's happening next? Just one card. Cause, okay, three of cups. Yeah, so you're getting back together with a person. Okay, that's pretty much it. Let me get you advice. Nothing will come of the situation. It's probably just for fun. Advice. Be bold and make the first move. Well, I feel like you already are. So unless you say something, this person won't. Surrender to the divine, okay? Mm -hmm. You're very close to achieving your goals. So you're going to get what you want. Advice. Damn, that's too many. Playfulness. So it's time to have fun and let loose. Playfulness is a spiritual power. Laughter leads me back to the light. You got zucchini energy. All right, what else? What's this? I'm an eternal flame. Each day my light grows brighter. So it's like passion, fun, saint of authenticity. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. So I do feel like being truthful will get you what you want. Being honest about your needs, your desires will get you what you want. Being fun and playful, the person will also match your energy. Thank you, Gemini. See you next time.